If you just want to see the technique, tap strafing in action and learn it for yourself, you can skip to this timestamp. But then you're going to miss the context I want to put this video in. So allow me a bit of explanation. Tap strafing is another one of those utter niche movement tags that somehow smuggled their way into Apex Legends, cause it's ultimately based on source. We have known about tap strafing since Titanfall 2. I just hadn't spent the time to investigate its potential in Apex Legends yet. So after getting some comments about it, I finally did that. And I really want to show you what I found. The big concern I have about this video is that someone at Respawn will see it, see what those damn PC players are up to again and patch it out of the game. As they did with double jumping after grappling. In fear that it will harm the integrity of cross-platform coming later this year. Respawn, please, for the love of the game and your 0.0001% players that will ever use tap strafing to a level where it is advantageous to use in game, do not remove tap strafing or any of the edge case movement techniques while we're at it. Please do not sacrifice movement toys some people are very passionate about in fear that footage of it might turn away newcomers to the game. I have a lot more arguments I could make here, trust me. But I feel the message is clear enough. Let's now see how I discovered the potential of tap strafing in Apex. This then of course also includes the tutorial section. What is tap strafing? It's basically a way to make very very sharp turns mid-air. I have experienced it in Apex with um, an octane jump pad. I want to see if I can do it with a bunny hop. Now that's the catch. You, if it works like it works in Titanfall, you can make 90 degree turns without losing any momentum. That's the really interesting part. Oh, hot chocolate sounds good for a cozy stream. Just experimenting, trying to get used to. Oh, there it was. That was a tap strafe. That sharp turn, that definitely was a tap strafe. So let's, let me try to explain what a tap strafe is. You do the air strafe, like with the side input and the mouse input, like you usually do. And then very quickly after you jump, you input forward movements. Like I'll try to get the keyboard but very quickly tabbing your W key. Like that. I don't know if you can hear it. That is a tap strafe. It's very hard to demonstrate without a double jump because in Titanfall the double jump is what lets you do it mid-air. That was a good one. See that direction change? That was a tap strafe. Let's see if we can do it with a bunny hop. Oh, look at that turn. Yeah, tap strafing is a thing. Yeah, tap strafing is definitely a thing. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, I might have to start getting better at tap strafing. For bunny hops and getting around the map after a slingshot, this is insane. It's only really practical if you're already zooming around the map and pretty good at slingshotting, bunny hopping, hitting, edge boosts, slant boosts and things like that. The biggest thing is that for satisfying slingshots I don't have to rely on rocks being at a certain way if I want to make, sh want to make sharp turns. I would argue it's impossible on a controller if you're not <laughs> using a ridiculously high sense. Holy shit, that was nearly 90 degrees. We're getting better boys, we're getting better. How's my day been? Pretty good. I made progress on the new Moki video. I made a new animation for the stream. If you donate or tip, there is a new animation for the little robot. You can now give a coin to the robot. So I dare anyone to be the very first donation ever in the stream and get to see this new animation. Nope. But it still worked. Yeah, and out of slides. Oh, you might be able to slide, jump and then make a very sharp one. Oh, first look. Donation. 
keep up the good work. Oh, you gave him a coin. Yes, he takes the coin. Say thank you, thank you. And put it into the machine. Look how awesome that animation is. Oh, Crispy, thanks so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so in love with the animation stuff I can do in the stream. You might be able to use this, if you're really good with it, in normal bunny hops. When you're escaping someone, to just be basically impossible to hit. Yeah, especially if you somehow are able to have a bit of more air after a jump or after a tap strafe, then it's useful. On flat ground, I'm not sure I can be good enough with the timing of each individual bunny hop. Getting into cover like this? Like that? Like that? What? So you jump and then the tap strafe comes a bit uh, later. I got a bit confused with trying to get the tap strafe right with the jump, together with the jump. Is that what happens when you do the backwards momentum conversion? I would guess so, yes, that the sudden S or backwards input works similar to the sudden W input I'm using here. Because if you time it correctly, oh nice, if you time on your mouse movement correctly with the W press, then a single W press is enough. But tabbing it helps throughout the turn. Like that is just a single, I just hold S. Yeah, tabbing it multiple times seems to help. So you don't need the momentum shift. But it seems the momentum shift makes it re much easier. Hmm. For the tap strafe, I'm doing multiple strafes, uh, multiple taps, yes, because I'm used to it like that from Titanfall. That was just a single one. I, I'll probably look at how sharp these turns are, especially that you can keep your momentum so hectic and. The other guys in the comments, thanks so much for pointing that out to me. Holy damn. Like, look at those momentum shifts. Damn. Um, we just finished investigating tap strafing. And now I'll wind down with some Townscaper. Something like that. Oh, what was that? Ooh, stairs like that. Of course I would want to see a pilot legend in Apex. Who in their right mind would not want to see a pilot legend in Apex? If it would be overpowered or not depends on how you implement it. Macro, what's up? That is Townscaper. A very lovely little Oh, look at how lovely the town looks. I've only watched it from here. A lovely little town building, toy, game, somewhere in between. It's just a zen little relaxation thing. Oh, I fall in love with Townsca Townscaper again and again. Five bucks on Steam. How is this place called? I also just like Twown. The town Twown. <laughs> A small little Twown. Oh, imagine slingshotting over that. Imagine slingshotting around here and then boosting off some slant here and then on this slant and then a dive into the water. Let me explore my town with a little st stick man. And with a first person point of view. Why do I have an octane dancing? Why not? <laughs> It actually was the reward for hitting a thousand followers. That Octane is now dancing here and at the end of videos. And it's sort of an example of how Rampart could dance at the end of videos. Like that? Yes, like that.
Oh, boats would be nice. Little, just small little boats, like paddling boats. That would really add to the character. But I think I'm getting a bit tired. 